I'm Cheryl Waters. You've got it tuned to KEXP, where the music matters. You can find us at 90.3 FM in Seattle, streaming worldwide at kexp.org, and also on our free mobile apps. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. You'll get notification every time we launch a wonderful new video of a great band that we feature live on KEXP, like the one that is just about to perform for you today. I'm so excited to welcome Loving to the KEXP studios. Thank you for coming. Thanks for having us. Fantastic to have you here. You've got a new album just came out called Any Light. You're going to play some songs for that for today? Yes. Yeah, that's right. It's loving. Take it away. So easy. You're listening to Loving live on KEXP, playing songs from their new album, Any Light, out on Last Gang Records. Medicine.
So beautiful. You're listening to Loving Live on KEXP.
You just heard On My Way to You from Loving, live on KEXP. What if I loved you like it couldn't last Every day to the very last What if I loved you like we just crossed paths Without the usual man Without the usual man I'm beginning to see what it means to be free beautiful. You're listening to Loving Live on KEXP. Thank you for that beautiful set of music. It's so wonderful to have you here today. Thank you so much for having us. David and Jesse, I understand that in the early days of Loving that you were operating from different cities, writing music together from afar, and it makes me curious how the two of you met and started making music together. Uh, we met uh, tree planting. And we started making music probably at this camp we were camping at while we were working. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> I don't even remember. And how did it work when you were living afar? I mean, what kind of sounds did you, were you thinking you were wanting to make together? Did you have sort of a similar vibe? Or were you sending completely different songs back and forth and had to come to some, some middle ground? Yeah, so it actually all happened through, through a tape machine. I, I was back home for... I think for a Christmas break, and I recorded some, like what scratches really, just vocals and, and guitar of some ideas that I had, and then, and then you layered on top of it, and that's pretty much what the EP is, or that is what it is. Yeah. And you made that early music at home, and I know for any light that you set up shop in a studio. I mean, what do you remember about making that early music at home, and what kinds of new things were you able to play with in the studio? 
Um, well, it was a lot easier when we had a home studio because I could just like ride over, have coffee, and we could just tinker around, which I'd say we're tinkerers. We just kind of slowly work on things and, and they coalesce um, versus the, this last record, we're both living in different places. So we have to be a lot more like intentional around making time to get together and work. Um, but uh, I think there's like a bit of pressure in that that's nice too. And being in more of a studio that has fun things like timpanis lying around and a Hammond organ. Yeah. Did you think, I mean, there's a lot more sounds on any light. Did you think, did you have those sounds imagined in your head and you were able to realize them in the studio? Or as you may have just inferred, you saw some things lying around and said, maybe we'll just throw that in and see what that sounds like. I mean, how did this sort of bigger sound with more, more lushness come on? Yeah, I, I think it's, it's definitely like an iterative process. Like we don't, it's not like conceived of beforehand. And so I think that that is pretty accurate. They were just like, oh, there's these instruments lying around and let's try them out and play. play we, also, like, yeah. sorry to interrupt. we also had a Keen in there and he can play a lot of uh, the things that were lying around. So we got to coerce him into playing timpani and vibraphone. Yeah, vibraphone net. I don't know if Keenan has a mic. Well, there's one on the floor there, but I wanted to say I'm, I'm not um, a musician myself, so I'm not super familiar with equipment and instruments, but that does look like the missing bass guitar that Paul McCartney just found. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, I mean, this has been kind of in the loving band for like a minute, I guess. It's like a Hofner ripoff, basically, but it's just uh, no matter who plays bass, it, this is the bass. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it definitely... Uh, has that round sound that delivers the tones, so to speak. Well, you started out um, as a smaller band almost 10 years ago and have built up your sound with more, more players and more instruments. And I imagine that that has made for a different live show. I mean, how do you think about the live shows these days? You must love all playing together. It's sounding fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. It's a lot of fun. Like we don't necessarily uh, strive to achieve like the sound of the record too, so it's a bit more playful, which is a lot of fun too. And yeah. Tell me about the title of the record, Any Light. Um, so that track came together out of like two fragments. Like I had just kind of the lyrical component of it, and it was being very stubborn. It wasn't really evolving into anything. And then David had this other section of music, and they just kind of went together perfectly. Um, I guess that's the origin story of the track itself. The name for the record, um, I suppose, it, it, was, it was basically like an intuitive thing. It kind of has only made sense after the fact, and kind of retrospectively seeing the theme of light as it was threaded throughout the songs. Um, yeah. That's a beautiful theme. That's why I asked. It's somewhat evocative, like any light. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah, it seems like a necessary theme for, for this moment in time. Well, we're so happy to have you here today. Any Light is such a beautiful new record. And are you all, well, you're on the road now, but are you all living in the same place now? Or where is home for everyone? It's a complex question, actually. Oh, OK. <laughs> no, we don't want to give away any secrets. No one wants to tell. I'm not asking you to give your address. <laughs> More touring than more touring than living in one spot at the moment, I think. Fair enough. Is that a good thing? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm so glad the tour brought you through the KEXP studios today. That was an absolutely beautiful session. Thank you so much. Thanks, Cheryl. Thanks for having Thanks us. Thanks so much. Thanks so much for having us. Any Light is the new record from Loving out on Last Gang Records. So beautiful, and what a pleasure to have them in the studios today. Thank you again so much. It's Loving live on KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.